is our demonstration fast paralysis machine. Uh, first thing you'll see here on the ramp is the dryer that we use for the unit. Um, any wood that is 10% moisture content or greater, we prefer to, uh, to dry it down to that moisture content. Um, move forward here, this is the control panel. Uh, this is where we control all the operations of the plant, um, from motor speeds to monitor temperatures, monitor flow rates, uh, pretty much everything can be done here uh, on this touch screen you see here. This is the main portion of the plant. This area right here is the feed hopper, so uh, the biomass material is loaded directly into that hopper. In the bottom of that hopper there is an auger which will move the material into the reactor area. Uh, whenever the material comes into the reactor area it will contact a, a bed of steel shot. Uh, the steel shot will be preheated to the temperature required for fast paralysis. And Upon contact, fast process will occur and three products will be formed. The bio-oil, the syngas, and the scar. The bio-oil vapor and the syngas will exit the top of the reactor, come into this condenser system. The bottom of the condenser system will be where the, the bio-oil is recovered and the syngas will pass through uncondensed over to the furnace system. Uh, we burn the syngas in the furnace to provide thermal energy for the process. Um, back to the reactor, whenever the fast paralysis occurs, the thermal heat carrier that we use and the char product will exit the bottom of the reactor and be separated by particle size. Uh, the char will exit out of auger on the other side and the thermal heat carrier will be recycled and reheated back into the reactor area. So the syngas, once it's started, it'll power the machine itself and keep it running. Correct. Wow. Yeah, uh, we actually use propane to get everything to process the heat. And then once we start feeding biomass, uh, we'll generate syngas almost immediately and switch over to burning syngas. Very nice. So, Is that it? That's pretty much it. And what comes out the other side there? That's where the char exits on the far side of the truck. Yeah? Yeah. Have you calculated how much char per how much uh, input product? Yeah, um, basically for say 100 pounds of uh, biomass material, you're going to have about 60% of by weight bio-wool, about 25% by weight char, and the remainder will be sink gas. That's the stuff, right? Yeah, so this is a sample of some of the char that we produce. And it comes right out here down that seat or two? Exactly. Uh, we, we cool it to near room temperature before it exits. Yeah. Uh, at least below it's auto ignition temperature, so there's no danger of ignition fire. Great. I want to put one in so this is the one of the byproducts of this? Yeah, that's the biochar. So there's three things that come out of it. Syngas, which basically after the machine is up and running and rolling, it runs the process. Biochar, which comes out of it, and then bio oil. Depending on what they're looking for, did you smell it? Oh, yeah. It smells like liquid smoke. Liquid smoke. Yeah, whoa. Yeah. Put that on your food. Woo! That's, that's, that's what they do. That's what they do. They act smells like uh, hick hickory oh, sticks. Yeah. The system for timber sales, but for uh, fuels reduction projects that would be located around wildland urban interface, where there's a high amount of fuel and a high cost in dealing with that fuel, and burning in open air is not really an option. This provides us potentially with an opportunity to reduce that fuel without open air burning and to also gain that energy and that potential uh, soil amendment through the biochar.